folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com, and this is the Happy Go Lucky Brazil Nut. A tasty little nut known by various names around the world, but here we call them Brazil Nuts. Let's test it now and see. Is it radioactive? You're thinking to yourself, with a Civil Defense Geiger counter, you're going to test Brazil Nuts with a Civil Defense Geiger counter? Are you sure, Tom, that that would ever even work? The answer is probably not. But there is a way to make it work, and I'll show you. First off, we have a cesium-137 check source. And as you can see, we'll turn this sucker up to times one. Now that works. Times ten. Yeah. It's nice, but it's just not sensitive enough against a microcurry to detect much of anything. Well, let's put that away. Let's put on a whole bag of Brazil nuts. And we'll stuff that right on top of it. I usually use an Inspector EXP for tests, by the way. I don't usually use a uh, Civil Defense guy counter. I just love this little guy because it's all yellow and it has a nice little speaker on the side. And as you can see, nothing's coming through. And nothing's going to come through. Times one scale. Just a little background every now and then. Nothing. We're going to have to put this in the gamma scintillator and do a little gamma spectroscopy to find it. I'm pretty sure that if we run this to the gamma scintillator for 24 hours, all those little gammas will come out and we will collect them. The gammas that we collect, their uh, energy will leave a signature like a fingerprint. Perhaps we will detect radiation in the common everyday Brazil nut. What is inside a Brazil nut? Let's see. Alrighty, we start our adventure with a background analysis, 24 hours of background data on the scintillator to get a good baseline and to know what's in my environment. I'll then run 24 hours with the Brazil nuts in the scintillation chamber and then I will subtract the two. The net result will be well, what we found. Now luckily for you I've already done this so let's see what we have. Here is the background and here is the Brazil nuts. As you can see, the Brazil nuts have plenty of little peaks throughout them. I have already uh, taken the time to look through all of these peaks and I, um, ascertain what they are. Right around here, you pick up uh, 186.10 kilotron volts. Right in here, you pick up radium-226. Followed not far behind that, you have lead-214 at 241.98 kilectron volts. Not too far after that, you have another lead 214 and then another lead 214. And you even, and if you pull this up here a little bit, smooth, it's already smooth. If you look carefully here, you even have a little bit of a rise from bismuth 214. These are the rapid decay products from radium-226. And also you notice that this peak, this x-ray peak, is higher than it should be. You see the x-ray peak from the background already existed and has already been removed. So this must be the difference. The reason is because there are powerful alpha and beta emitters inside the actual nuts and that's what's causing the x-ray peak to shoot up really high. Now let's compare this to autonite, which is a form of uranium. As you can see, autonite Let's flip it over to a linear view. Autonite has these same four fingers. See the four fingers? I know they're not very pronounced because Brazil nuts aren't exactly a source of uranium, but there they are. And then, of course, it even has a little hump here for, for uh, bismuth-214. And, of course, that right there is uh, always in all of my spectrums. And so, look at that, the little hump right there, the hump starting right there. The reason that the radium-226 is in the Brazil nuts is because of their extensive tree root structure. It's not because of contamination of the soil. Most soil contains uranium, thorium, things like that, small, small, small amounts, but very tiny amounts. But trees like this will tend to pick up some of these uh, uh, elements into their uh, root structure in the same way that humans for example will absorb potassium and calcium and such from the foods they eat the trees also need these sorts of things and they tend to pick up radium 
and if they have very extensive root structures they can well they can actually produce radioactive uh, nuts but anyhow these are Brazil nuts they're perfectly safe the amount of radium that's in them is incredibly tiny there's more radium in one radium watch than an, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kinda guess here probably a football field full of these nuts so I, I wouldn't worry about them too much. In fact, I would continue to eat them if you already do. There's nothing wrong with them at all. These are microscopic amounts. It took me 24 hours to pull up these little tiny bits right here. You get more of this exact same set of elements from the first few minutes of your rain falling upon you than you do from the nuts. This has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and uh, see you folks later. You gotta love cesium-137 fun at parties.